You're right guys, Warfus Caplex here, and welcome to Skate 2, HD compatible for optimal gaming. There's now 4K. This came out in 2009. Oh my god, dude. It's somewhere, it's 10 years next year. Nine years ago. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna hit me for it then. I thought they were going to show a hippie flip. If he just did a late heel flip there, and then made it through, oh, that would have been... Rest in peace, my dude. Skate 2. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, okay, Skate 2 servers are still up and running. Oh, okay, I'm going to try some online then. But yeah, Skate 2. Pretty much most people's favourite skate game. So yeah, with me, as you guys know, I played Skate back when Skate 3 just came out because that's when I first got my next gen. Well, that's when I first got my next gen console, or now last gen console. Oh yeah, I brought DLC for this game. I believe that this game is pretty much mostly everyone's favourites because it's just so simple. I kind of want to like link it up to like Halo in some way, where people liked Halo back in the days when they were sprinting, like in Halo 3 or something. What I might do in the future is try and buy all the DLC I can for Skate 2 and then maybe just try and play it and just try and get some, I would say nostalgia feel to it, but I never really played Skate 2 back in the old days. Well, back in 2009, nearly nine years ago. Riverside Blast, let's try this. Trick from roof to roof, uh, gap into the LA ditch. There was one thing you could do as well, I forgot how you do it. It's got a Kush pop, if I remember. I was trying to do this in Skate 3, which you can do in one location. I remember there's this kind of other glitch that you can do in skate in this game. If I just hold LT ever so slightly before he grabs, then do a no comply. Whee! I've really got to stop trying and breaking this game and enjoying it how most people would want me to enjoy it by doing tricks and stuff. What? This guy is just jumping. What are you doing? Yes. I did it. <laughs> right, so over here, there's this little bit of fence here. So it has no, like, as you can see, up, as you can see up, like, there, there's a little bit of fence there, and then it just stops here. It has this little lamppost, and then it goes back to fence again. So if you want to, you can just hold LT, just to no comply, and let's just fly. Cool, and I'm on the other side of the barrier. Easy as that. You can do cool stuff like this. Yeah, so you're not really meant to be out here. <laughs> you can see this other side of this dam. HD for optimal gaming. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm just messing. I'm not really meant to be outside of here. I'm not even meant to see these textures. I don't know how many foot plants I can do here. Twelve sixty. Oh yeah. There we go, holy crap. Yeah, I can see why people would say that this is like the, their favourite skate game. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Unless I, all the way down here, do my board slide like usual. Is there a ramp nearby which can help me? Right, let's ramp up here. It should be down there now. I'm cheating, but in a good way. That's fine by me. I can get up the ledge. Now. Nailed it. That works. <laughs> how, how did I kill it? All I did was ollies. Hey, I hit 15,000 gamer score. When did that happen? Just look at that achievement time difference. 2016. 2018. Hey, I did it. 15,000 gamer score. Nice. Right, I'm going to try and do this like one that was a uh, challenge area. Might try and do this jam session real quick and then after that see if anyone's playing online. <laughs> Worth a shot. I see what clothes they've got. I hate how I play sometimes. I'm breaking this game. I'm sorry I'm not playing this game how I'm meant to be playing. Sorry. <laughs> right, let's try and go online. That's one thing is Skate 2. I'm used to going, if I want to see a replay, I press back. But that's on back, it brings up the online menu. Skate online. Custom free skate. Join a public game. If joining a public game, hopefully there's some online games. That'll be kind of cool. I'm always wondering what the icon is in the bottom right. Is it a wheel? Is it a save? It's just a no normal save icon. Is it a floppy disk which stretched out to be a circle? I, I don't know what it is. Cool, no, I'm the only one playing Skate 3 online. But it's cool that uh, Skate 2 still got online play. See, for me, Skate 2, I always play during uh, a friend's house who had Skate 2 on Xbox 360. These loading screens as well are... So good, so good. Right, let's, let's, 
Let's show some little stuff here and there which I know about this game. Try and do some stuff. I don't know, Skate 2 merchandise seems pretty cool, some stuff. But there is kind of an old glitch. See, I'm wearing this tee at the moment. This red and white tee. So I'm wearing this t-shirt, but I don't... I want that t-shirt, but blue. So if I put it on, and let's put on option two. But I don't want that colour of that t-shirt, so I go onto this one. I go, yeah, that looks fine. And I go, actually, no, let's continue to purchase. And I go... Do I want to purchase this? No. Edit receipt. Remove item. Go back. Back to store. And would you look at that? It puts your t-shirt back because you're not, you didn't purchase it, but it allows you to change the colour. So I just changed mine to blue. And continue. And then boom, you've got a blue shirt. Brazil. There you go. Planet Earth deck. That's in Skate 3 as well. But I've got a custom graphic on mine. Wait, are these, there's more colours here than in Skate 3. Guys, you should have put that in your video. I just went with white, my deck, because it matches kind of like the little graphic outside and just has that in the middle. Yeah. So that was just a little fun glitch, and if that glitch was in Skate 3, we could change any colour to of anything to ours. And, oh, any shirt, jacket, or whatever, you can change the colour to, and it just looked awesome. Skate 2's report, I think, like, is most people's favourites, because it didn't well, add too amazing. much to, from Skate 1. Of course, it's better graphic-wise, it's better, like, physics and mechanics, and better looking. It's... they didn't add too much more to the game. Like, there's no things as dark catches in this game, no such thing as under flips. Like, some little, there, was, there was a lot added to this game, but not too much, if you get what I mean. Like, hippie jumps were added, doing foot plants, getting off your boards. I don't like the running animation, though, that still looks ugly. Holy crap, I'm going so fast. Here we go, let's do a hippie flip as big black. Come on, be back. First try, let's go. Right, I'm gonna try and do it here. I've been trying to do it the other day and I still can do it. If I get some speed. I think I gotta be quicker than that. Come on, I wanna do this push box. So I think all you have to do here is just manual and then revert and then Ollie. Uh that's kind of it. It was kind of it, but not really, because you're meant to be going up, not forward. Yay! I did it! I don't even know how this glitch works. Like normally there's like I can understand the theory behind it, but I don't understand why this just flings you up into the air. I'm looking at the feet, I guess his top right foot looks kind of sketchy. If you look at his foot there, it looks kind of a uh, bit. Yeah, yeah, that does look kind of sketchy. Uh, just a bit. Uh, <laughs> so it could be something to do with that, which makes him fly up into the air. All I need to do now is to get it consistently. For me, there's a reason why Skate Three is one of my favourite games, and not Skate Two, because. It's the imperfections of Skate 3 which make it, you know, appealing. Although, yeah, like, I got it for a game for skateboarding and I'm not doing skateboarding. It's just like... Oh, that was it. That was kind of a push ball. There we go. I kind of got one there. But see, that, that's just showing you a little bit of it. You normally can get a bit higher with that. Not too much higher. But yeah, like, Skate 3 is not perfect, but that's what makes it perfect to me. Flawed logic, I know. Like, I like this game, don't get me wrong, I love Skate 2. Skate 2 is such a good game. But I, just, I guess it's just my nature to break stuff and try and have fun with what I've got. Like, with me, I just um, I just find it fascinating how we managed to, as a community, on Skate 3, managed to break the game so much. There we go, that's kind of one. We managed to break the game so much that we've found a new way to play it. Like, we managed to find a glitch which helped us get speed, so then we can find a new glitch which allowed us to no comply higher and get another flip in there and we can do other tricks as well within that no compile or bonus as well if you want to include that is it my analog stick broken and then we managed to find some new glitches to help us fly across the world and be creative in that way whereas skate 2 perfect for doing skateboarding which is what it's meant to be like and what skate 3 was meant to be like so i can really understand the point when people say oh skate 2 is my favorite game hands down or is the best game hands down i can really understand that they don't have people flying across the world but skate 2 is really what made skate skate it's annoying no one's playing online though hold on let me try and go free skate online does some free skate 2 yes can i find a game Load me into a game, please, EA. For people who are playing Skate 2, I swear to God. I'm in a game with someone! Finally, dude. There he is. Skate, th Skate 2 Online. Still works. Holy God. Normally, EA like to kill a game after... I guess it's after the second one's released. I'm happy that they did a keep online for this game. That's very nice of them. What if we can do the Nollipop no in this game? I feel like you can do. You can! Oh yeah. 
I'm not sure the lollipop was founded in actually Skate 2 or Skate 3 then. It's only easier to do in uh, Skate 3 because it's not easy. You can bloody fly across the map and land it. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I've now been recording for way longer than I normally do because I've just actually been enjoying this game. Just playing a bit. I think I've been quiet for some time. So, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And as always, cue the outro. Thank you.